Yo, what up, swimming in Black Ops 4 squad? It's your boy Skizzle here, and in this video, I will hit you guys up with some fat ass facts. But hey, at the same time, we got Sergeant Frank, which he clearly, in plain English, said he is not going to be in Black Ops 4, aka Call of Duty 2018. But as you have already second guessed it, there's always, there's always a but in the story and that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in this video and it's about to get real naughty as my boy Grizz would say but Sergeant Frank Woods just a couple of hours ago and hey quickly wanna say this if for some reason this is your first time watching the channel I would like to welcome you all mother efforts and I do Call of Duty videos and I will keep you all updated with Black Ops 4 videos so if you do end up subscribing let me know in the comments below so I can feature you in my next video but hey couple of hours ago it's 2 o'clock by the time I'm actually recording this video but around 8.21 September or not September, I will get to that September tweet in just a little bit, but hey, February 6th, Sergeant Frankwood says the following, I am not, at this point in time, contracted to play a role in the upcoming Call of Duty game for 2018, and then he links back to his other account, and now, this really, really uh, wild up the community, and the whole community went absolutely bozo at him, and I'm sure he is under a lot of pressure, he cannot confirm or deny anything, right, but here, he basically confirmed confirmed it that he is not in the game but again he said the following if and when I have concrete intel and have clearance that's very important I will tell you what I know I promise uh, of course he says one I know but at the same time we all know he means to say what I know 500 IQ up in here but an hour later around 9 34 p.m. he says and just to be clear I said I, James C. Burns, does not have a role in this year's Call of Duty. I did not, that's very important. I did not say there would be no Sergeant Frank, which that character belongs to Treyarch. They can easily recast if they want to. Assume nothing, and that's when a lot of people went bozo again. And I personally got really, really high because that potentially opens a whole new door. And right here, I want to quickly hit you guys up with some fat ass facts and quickly want to let you know this. Like, Treyarch is very notorious for planning the game ahead. For example, DLC 5, it was called Zombies Chronicles. The initials were found years ago in the release that was absolutely mind-boggling when we first heard about it a lot of people were mind blown including your boy Bob but hey also, we had a Wave Wonder Weapon print in the beginning of Black Ops 3. We all know where that led us to Moon Remaster happened. And Shangri-La loading screen sketch was inside the DICE event. So that shit was real naughty and we all know that shit happened. And we know that this new Call of Duty will be modern time. It's definitely going to be in the 1980s era and then we can also be in 2000. But we're definitely not gonna go after and beyond 2030. That's just my guess and hey, it just makes sense, right? So. Uh, in that era, we know that Frank Wood is alive and he dies uh, around 2026. And we know that Black Ops 2 storyline was non-canon, meaning that there are two different endings. In one ending, Menendez just K the guy. Of course, we're on YouTube, so uh, I cannot say certain words here. But the thing is, Menendez did the do. And guess what? We know that Frank Wood ended up dying in 2026. But he's definitely going to be alive before then. But even if he dies... The thing is, I had this very sort of like weird uh, theory popped up in my head that what if like Frankwood doesn't die? Because if you remember correctly, Frankwood always repeats one and one thing only. You cannot K me. And of course, you know what I'm saying by that. Of course, we're on YouTube, cannot say certain words there. But the thing is, Frankwood always says that. And of course, it's his uh, catch line. So hey, he always going to say that and doesn't mean that you cannot K him. But we know that Menendez slices his throat and and then he kind of like buries him but what if that expired his vocal cords it's a terrible theory but hey bear with me I got other stuff here as well but that may have ended his vocal cords and maybe Trek will be like let's have Frank Woods in the mix but he cannot talk anymore it's a terrible theory but then again we know that Trek is notorious they like to plan ahead and I wouldn't be surprised if they already got the assets the recording and everything all ready to go back in Black Ops 2. and I personally believe that we're not gonna 
gonna have like any sort of major roles we're definitely gonna have some references and we're definitely gonna have a mission or two where we can see Frank Woods when he is old AF or sometime like just a flashback right that's gonna bring us back to those Black Ops 2 campaign days and we're gonna definitely have some new cast as well and I, I'm pretty sure they can really hire a new voice actor as well just like Frank Woods mentioned here I mean it's just gonna be no problem for Treyarch they can be like hey you Bob let us hire you you come up in here record Frank Woods for us and hey they are ready to rock and roll but let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel and hey check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed them and I'll see you very freaking soon.